Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you Scorpios for the month remaining of July 2021. Now your first card here is the eight, or sorry, the six of pentacles, the devil card, the queen of cups, the sun, the king of wands. Wow. All righty. interesting okay so what i'm hearing is there is there's almost like there is a harmony that's happening right now in regards to your love life scorpio and this could speak about transformation but it's almost like i i feel that there is a not transformation a transmutation so it's like in the past couple of weeks, you could have experienced like being more balanced, being more connected, being more really, really seeing the partner or person of interest putting effort just like you have. Now, the card that's representing them is the devil card. So it could represent that you're dealing with a Capricorn, but it can also represent um, the almost the, the acknowledgement of where they've been effing up. It's like a realization of, okay, I need to work on myself to be able to give as much as Scorpio gives to me. So it, it's almost like a, a understanding of our toxic traits. And I feel that that's what your partner's currently going through. It's like if they lack communication or they don't know how to fully express what they're feeling in the moment, I feel that they're going to be much more willing to openly express what they're feeling because they understand that communication is something that is very important at this present time. This can also represent um, being very physically connected because <laughs> we have the devil card here, the sun and the king of wands. So that speaks to me about the like sparking the flame, being extremely passionate, being extremely intense. If there's been lack of physical connection, that's not going to be the issue anymore because they're coming in hot and heavy is what I'm hearing. Now, for those of you guys that are single, you may be dealing with a Capricorn that comes in and this is a person that is going to really tap into your animalistic side, really tap into your desires. It's like there is such an explosive chemistry that is, it's almost like palpable. It's unreal, um, especially because we do have the king of wands here. So it could be a person that is extremely intense and extremely passionate when we're talking about sexually. And it could be a fire energy as well, a Leo, an Aries or a Sagittarius that's coming in. I see you emotionally invested or being open. So for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, what they're telling me is that there's a person that's coming in that is definitely going to ignite um, that spark, that interest in you. They're definitely, they're, like their energy is, it's a heavy energy. It's like the moment they walk in a room, they draw in all that attention. Um, this is a person that fully embraces their sexual nature. So it's a, if it's a masculine energy, it's a person that comes off extremely masculine. It's a person that really takes good care of themselves or make sure that they're always smelling amazing. It's like your, you know, your hormones are just like wild right now because it's that's what they're bringing out. And that's what they have a tendency of bringing out. Uh, a very intense, hot and heavy type of energy is what I'm hearing. So again, for some of you guys, those of you guys that are single, I do see that this person is definitely going to draw you in. This is a person that is very dominant in what they want. They know exactly what it is, what they want. And there's no apologies here. This is a person that is, you know, the moment that your eyes lock in with theirs, you're going to know that they're interested because they're going to actively pursue you. And you're coming up in your own reading, which indicates to me being emotionally open or being open to the idea of pursuing this connection. Again, if you guys are in a long term committed relationship, I do see that lust and desire is going to be something that is going to be extremely powerful for now all the way till August. I feel you guys being very there's like a 
re-falling in love with each other and knowing or acknowledging that the reason why you guys fell for one another was because the connection was strong and powerful when we're talking about desire, when we're talking about the sexual nature of the connection. It's like if there was almost like a feeling of imbalance or not fully um, being able to embrace your sexual desires, but it was something that in the past was very important. Passion was very important, whether it's because of everyday mundane things, whatever the situation is, I see that your lust for one another is going to be reignited here. Uh, you also do have the sun card here and the sun card is embracing your passions. It's embracing your desires. It's giving in. It's understanding that, you know, that the intensity or the passion is something that keeps relationships alive. And it's about us continuously putting effort and energy to spark that interest. Whether it's you going out with the devil card, you going out and, you know, buying yourself lingerie or buy, making yourself more desirable to your partner, it's going to bring a lot of balance to the relationship because I feel for some of you guys, there could have been lack of passion, but that's not going to be the issue anymore. Um, and like I said, for those of you guys that are single and it's been kind of dead in that department, you're going to be very tempted. You're going to, you have, you know, the devil card to me represents also being open to really connecting with people. And I'm not talking about one person in particular. I'm talking about like entertaining the idea of dealing with multiple people. It's about having fun and not having any restrictions. So again, uh, it could also represent having a random call from a person that you've been with in the past um, and you guys are both in the mood, if you get what I'm saying. So um, that's definitely uh, something that I'm seeing. Passion, passion, passion is definitely what's going to be unfolding for you guys. So um, I wish you guys the best and we'll see each other soon. Have fun. <laughs> Bye.